you must have seen ice melting into water and then water evaporating into water vapor matter can change its state and in this video we will look at what happens inside matter when it changes its state what happens to the particles of matter when there is a change in state so to begin with we have we have a beaker with some ice in it and there is a thermometer attached to it and we will start heating up start heating this this block of ice now as it heats up the temperature in the thermometer rises and it reaches a certain point this is a point when all the ice that we see it starts changing starts changing into water now at the particle level at the particle level if we zoom in so let's say we have we have ice to begin with and we have all of these ice particles Th there will be many ice particles because it's a solid right so it will be tightly packed there are all of these all of these particles of ice initially they are vibrating they are vibrating about their position but when you supply heat it increases its kinetic energy so it means they start vibrating faster they start vibrating faster about their about their position and as you keep on supplying heat energy there comes a stage when these particles are able to break break these forces of attraction between them and as a result move around more freely that is when solid starts changing into liquid when when ice starts changing into water what is observed is that the temperature remains at 0 degree celsius so ice starts changing into water the temperature remains at 0 even if you are supplying heat and then until and unless all of the ice has been changed to water the temperature doesn't increase it stays at 0 degree celsius this temperature right here this is called the melting point melting point is the minimum temperature at which a solid starts changing into liquid if the melting point is higher let's say if for some substance melting point is 50 degrees celsius then it means that it has a stronger force of attraction between its particles so it needs more energy to break them right but for ice it's 0 degrees celsius now when ice starts changing into water even if you supply heat the temperature remains at 0 degrees celsius until all of the ice has been melted that is because all the extra energy that is being transferred all the extra heat energy is used up by these particles to overcome to break all of these forces of attraction all of these forces of attraction when all of these forces of attraction have been broken down when the particles have overcome these forces of attraction when all of them start moving about freely then again the temperature starts rising so we have reached a liquid state now when you keep on heating it the temperature rises further and there comes a point when the water starts boiling and boiling is a bulk phenomenon which means it happens throughout the body of the liquid the water starts boiling water particularly boils at 100 degrees celsius this is the boiling point and boiling point is the minimum temperature at which a substance at which a liquid changes into vapor into gas again when you keep on supplying heat to liquid the particles that are already moving around freely they start moving with a higher kinetic energy they break the force of attraction that are present between the particles in a liquid and they move around with a higher with a higher kinetic energy so we see as there is a change in the arrangement of particles that gets reflected in the state of a substance when particles are closely packed then it's a solid solid state when the particles gain enough enough energy to overcome the forces of attraction that is when they break these forces between them and become a liquid and on further providing heat the particles further gain kinetic energy and turn into a gas so on increasing temperature you can go from solid to liquid to gas for any substance now let's have let's have a gas let's have a gas in this piston so we have seen how temperature affects change in state now let's see how pressure can affect change in state so we have a gas in the system this this is a piston and what we will do is we will decrease the volume of this so we will we will push the piston down we will push it down and as it pushes as we push it down we see that the particles they now come closer to each other right because there is there is less volume in the container and as they come closer and closer to each other gas turns into a liquid we need to also ensure that there is low temperature in this in this system there is low temperature as well so here when we have increased the pressure on increasing the pressure they are so close to each other that they start attracting each other there is an intermolecular force they start attracting each other 
smaller particles attract each other and then they move around freely that is how gases can be liquefied so even increasing pressure has an effect on the change in state of a substance one example of this is solid carbon dioxide solid carbon dioxide is stored under high pressure and when solid co2 is brought into contact with atmospheric pressure that is one atmosphere then it directly changes into gas so increasing pressure can liquefy gases can also solidify gases and when you decrease pressure the opposite happens just like in the case of solid carbon dioxide 